I don't know. I don't know if the word um, abortion and sanctuary go together. Like I don't know how those two get those two words go together. Maybe they do. City council members aim to make Baltimore a sanctuary city for abortion services, meaning no matter what else happens anywhere else, abortions will be done here. I've never seen so many people so excited about killing children. I, I, I've never seen so many. I, I don't know. You know, I guess it's, I don't know, is it biblical? I suppose it's Old Testament, I, I guess. But I, I've never seen so many people be so excited. Of course, Baltimore, which is an absolute hellhole, is run by 15 Democrats, no Republicans. They unanimously approved a resolution to establish a fund that will aid women who are seeking abortions. I, I literally, look, whatever side of abortion you're on, that's great. But I mean, people can't wait to kill babies. That's fine. I mean, I, I got no say in the matter. Uh, I understand uh, everything about the issue. I do. Uh, I've researched it. I've studied it. But I, whatever you want to do, people can't wait to brag on it. People, people cannot wait. I get it. You know, all of a sudden, I don't know how this happened. Uh, two weeks, four weeks ago, whatever it was, before the leaked Supreme Court thing, women or politicians didn't even know what the hell, how to define a woman. Didn't even know how to define it. And next thing you know, I don't know. Everybody can define it. Everybody's telling everybody what a woman is. Now, it's weird how that works. It just is very odd. It just is very odd. The, the fund will give money to Baltimore-based reproductive health organizations, thus allowing them to expand their capacity to help women abort their unborn children. The resolution did not specify how large the fund will be, <clears throat> but it disclosed that taxpayer dollars as well as donation will comprise the fund. What if I don't want my money to go there? You know, one thing that blanks me off <clears throat> is when I hear tax the rich. I got to tell you, I ain't rich, but I pay a hell of a lot in taxes, and I do it every damn year. And I literally got no say where it goes. That is a bit frustrating. And of course, California, those geniuses out there, they want to be a sanctuary state for abortion. Again, you do whatever you want, baby. Whatever you want. But I've never seen so many people so excited about killing kids. I just never have. I mean, brag on it. Want to do it. I guess. Uh, I guess that's what we are all about. I, you know, it seems to me that, I don't know, at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, and this is, I, somehow this is going to be a controversial comment, but at the bare minimum, states ought to have elections and figure out what your state wants to do via an election. I don't know, I, I'm sure that's crazy. I, I'm sure, but all of a sudden now women can tell us what women are. Does this mean these pregnant men can have abortions? Is there a bigger joke in this country than that? I mean, seriously, is there a bigger joke than, like, I'll tell you right now, I am not. You could not pay me to get anything from Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein is going to use pregnant men in their ad. Do you know how disrespectful that is to women? Does anybody have any idea how disrespectful that is to women? Man. I, it's just amazing to me. You can just say you're a woman. Hey, I'm a woman. Hey, you know what I am today? I'm a tree. I am a tree today. I'm going to go stand outside and let dogs pee on me. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know. If a cop arrests me, uh, if I go stand in the middle of the street and pee, I'm going to say I'm a tree and this is sap coming out of me. Calvin Klein is going to use pregnant men. The level of stupidity that we involve ourselves. Again, I go back to this. I always go back to this. This is a great country. When this is the kind of crap, we're so bored with the success of what was happening with the stock market, uh, with, with the gas prices, with the other countries having a healthy fear of us that we had to screw it up with a career politician 
and now we think we have pregnant men. Go get them, man. There it is again. Dash is down 5.3%. Every day. Every day. But somehow that clown got 81 million votes. All right. And people still defend it. I mean, look up the numbers. The hellhole cities are run by Democrats, and people keep voting them in. Yeah. Do whatever you do, man.